All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to program this Rain Bear Sprinkler Timer. This one is uh, an ESP TM2. And the first thing we're gonna do is to switch the date and time. So we're gonna switch it to uh, date and time. And with the plus or minus, we're gonna uh, change the, the day. And as you see right now, the CO5 is blinking uh, with plus or minus, I uh, just uh, change the day. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in the 10. Uh, to switch the month, I gotta press the arrow. And when you see that blinking, uh, you can uh, actually make a change with minus plus. So it's June 10. And now we're gonna switch the year. Uh, same thing with the arrow. When you see that blinking, then you can make a change. So I'm gonna switch it to 20. Three. All right, so that's how you change the date. Uh, now we're gonna switch to the time. So we're gonna go with the arrow again. See number 12 is blinking. Uh, so I'm gonna go minus, now it's 10. So now I'm gonna switch to the minute with the arrow. See it's blinking, so it's 20, it's 10, 20. AM, so we're gonna switch to AM, so you can see it's PM. To switch it to AM, so I, I'm gonna have to go uh, past 12, and see now it's AM, so I'm gonna go 10, 20, AM. All right, so now we're gonna switch to start times. All right, my first time is start time, uh, I want it to be at uh, 6 a.m. So I'm gonna go with plus. All right, so minus or minus. All right, so that's my first start time. I'm not gonna do any more start time. So I just want my, all my stones to water just one time. So I will start at 6 a.m. All right, let's say you have a new lawn just put in and you want your stations to come on for two times a day. So you're gonna have to go for a second start time. My first start time is uh, 6 a.m. So I'm gonna have to switch to uh, a second start time with the arrow, you see, but that's my second start time. That's no time right now. Uh, let's say my first start time is at 6 a.m. So my second, I want it to begin at 9 p.m. Let's go minus and see. There we go. So 9 p.m. I'm gonna do 9 p.m. All right, so that will be my second start time. Let's double check. Okay, that's not the number three, but I want number two at 9 p.m. and I want number one at 6 a.m. So all my stations will come two times a day, but like I said, I just don't want that. I want just to water one time. Um, I'm gonna erase the my second start time. All right, so that's off. Now we'll switch to for how long, so run time, run times. All right, so I only have uh, three stations. So I'm gonna go with station one and I'll go five minutes. So I go with plus. All right, so that's five, five minutes. Uh, the only five minutes for station one, also one. Now I'm gonna go to station two, the arrow. I'm gonna go uh, number, station two all depends uh, what you're watering, it's, if it's grass or trees, plants. Uh, for number two, I'm gonna go two minutes. Now I'm going to station three, I press the arrow, so station three. I'm gonna go 10 minutes uh, for station three. All right, so I only had three zones connected or three stations connected. Uh, so I don't have to do anything else with uh, the rest. This is a six station timer. We'll see if station four has nothing and I don't have station four. 
six. So just leave that blank if you don't have any more valves connected. All right, so now we're gonna switch water days. All right, water days, if you can see uh, the drop, that means every day will water. If you wanna skip uh, a day, you're gonna have to go minus. I want my area to just water three days. So I want Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So I'm gonna keep uh, Monday. So I'm gonna go minus. If you see the circle around uh, the drop, so that means that day is not gonna water. So I'm gonna switch to, I want Tuesday to water. So I'm gonna skip to Wednesday. And I go minus on Wednesday. I'm gonna skip to Thursday. And I'm gonna go minus on Friday and minus on Sunday. There you go. So now I have Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for my water days. All right, so sensor is if you have a sensor connected. So if you don't have any sensor connected, just keep that. And seasonal adjustment. Well, for that, you can leave it at 100% or you can adjust it. It all depends uh, that the weather. If it's uh, cloudy, you know, it's gonna be cloudy all week. You can go 75% uh, or 50%. I'm gonna give a sample of that. Uh, I have a station. I'm gonna go to back to actual run times and you, you see uh number three i have 10 minutes i have 10 minutes but uh if you adjust it to 50 percent we adjust this with minus to 50 percent so that means number one number two and number three will water just half time so like number two example number three has 10 minutes it would just water for five minutes if you go uh 50% uh, and seasonal adjustment. I want my station to water 100%, so I'm gonna put it back to 100%. Or you can go over it as well. You can go over 100. But I, like I said, I'm gonna leave it at 100%. And now we're gonna switch to manual watering. All right, so the way you do it is you uh, search for a station that you want to come on. Let's say no, I want number three to come on. So I'm gonna go with the arrow and look for number three right here. Now I'm gonna add time. Right now it has 10 minutes, but I, if you want that station to just run for more time or less time. So let's say I want number three to run for five uh, minutes then you go with the arrow you're gonna press it and hold it for a few seconds for a second hold it and then when you see that that means that station will come on all right so press it back now we go to off so that off you switch it when it's a rainy day you know it's gonna rain uh you switch it to off and then if you want everything to water you put it back to auto and everything should come on uh, the way you s it is set. All right, so uh, this is the way you set this ESPTM2 sprinkler timer or rainbow controller. If you guys like the video, uh, give me a thumbs up.